All right, come on, guys. Uh, man, it's Larry. Number six results are in from a 50 year groundbreaking sleep study. And here's what those smarty pants at Stanford came up with. We fall asleep because we get sleepy. Oh, I was wondering. <laughs> 50 year study. And uh, this is what they came up with. So this is a reminder. If you're worried that your kid won't get into an Ivy League school, stop right now. They're going to be more than okay. Ah. Wow. Uh huh. Again, if you're just joining us, <laughs> <laughs> people sleep because they get sleepy. Wow. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, number five. Ooh, uh, not, we're talking about another study. Ooh. A new study shows that the average American believes they've made at least three major wrong decisions in their life. That's it. I need more than both hands to count those. Uh, according to researchers at SWNS Digital, oh, yeah. if anybody can be trusted, 70% of people wish they had more guidance when it came to making major life choices. Their biggest regrets, investing, yeah. purchasing a new home, and making a career change. Huh. When it comes to advice, more than half say they rely on friends and family, followed <laughs> by the <laughs> followed by the internet. Oh, there you go. Of your family, Larry. <laughs> uh, if those don't help, they turn to professionals. And finally, lastly, books or TV shows. Wow. Huh. That explains a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who else can it turn to, though? Right? You've yeah. nailed pretty much everybody, everybody. there. Yeah. yeah. All right, number four. Uh, here's something I'm loving right now: grapeseed oil. Oh. <laughs> My lord, it's the new super skincare product. Yeah, it is. It's full of omega fatty acids and vitamin E, and full of anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Skin care scientists say it's great for an evening out. No, for, for evening, evening out. <laughs> or an evening out. It does look like it it's, could it's be an evening word. out. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. great it's for evening same. out your skin tone, improving <laughs> moisture and elasticity. And it also gives you like an overall glow. Yeah. Huh. You can try it in a serum form and apply it directly to your skin, or you yeah. can mix it in with your favorite moisturizer. Personally, I like to put a few drops right in the bathtub. My skin has never been more supple. It's also available in capsules if you prefer that route. But grapeseed oil, it is. Mm. Wow. It's uh, it's done wonders. It's giving me your life. Head. Yeah, look it. A lot of people think that I'm like, you know, 28. Yeah. Or 29. Do they? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Really? yeah. They're not good enough. I'm the one who rubs it on your head yeah. every morning, too. Yeah. And don't don't yeah. for a second think I don't appreciate it. All righty. Larry, I miss when you used to do it the yeah. good old days. Well, you got to spread it around. Yeah. yeah. yeah right, you do, yeah. also. All right, number three. Moon hotels could soon be coming to Dubai. Each sphere would be a 360-degree massive recreation of the moon. They'd be about 735 feet high, a circumference of more than 2,000 feet. Moon World Resort released these renderings, mm. which really don't do it justice. No, Once it's completed, they plan to offer guests something no other resort can, the ability to simulate what it would be like to walk on the moon. Wow. So what do they put you in a sound Zero stage? And, uh, I don't know. What are you saying there, Robin? Sound I don't stage. know. What, what are you, what's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying that how do you, if you're not actually on the moon, how do you recreate it unless it's like in a studio of some okay. sort, right? right? You're not talking about the fake moon landing that they did. <laughs> she was not saying that. She was young. I thought she was getting yeah. yeah. that. It was all right words so. in my mouth. Rightfully so. Ah. Number two, a woman shared a story on TikTok that has the internet divided. Uh, she went to a child's first birthday party. Uh, instead of bringing a gift for the baby, she brought a bottle of champagne for his parents. Huh. She explained it this way. Over the past year, she bought a shower gift, a welcome to the world gift, and other little gifts, all for the baby. This time, she wanted to give her friends a present for surviving their first year as parents. She added that more than 50 people were invited to the party, so the baby would have plenty of gifts. Yeah. And... He's also one, so yeah. it's not yeah. like he's going to know yeah. or care. Yeah. You can skip the party. 
Well, did anyone, did the parents complain? Or is she just putting it out there as, uh, I mean. That's a good question. I mean, yeah. It didn't sound really like they did. if anybody was complaining or yeah. not. Those fine. are a big waste of time. I mean, if you, if you get anything, if anyone brings you anything, you should be saying thank you and nothing else, right? right. But I That's don't understand right. the, I mean, these birthday parties for the one-year-old kids, uh, they've yeah. been turning into these big, it's like the size of a wedding now. Right. Yeah. Just put the kid in I a mean, room wow. with an articulating fan for three hours. <laughs> yeah. You'd be happy. Don't just know the difference. Scrap the party, man. Yeah. 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 Just looking at that thing. Also, I didn't tell old. you to have that baby. That's right. <laughs> buy, buy what it needs yourself. Yeah. It's like these people who do housewarming parties. Right. That's that the was your biggest decision. scam going. <laughs> you just it bought is. the most yeah. expensive thing a human being can buy, and I got to buy you a mix master? You can afford a mix master. Right. Your problem, not yeah. my problem. Uh -huh. That's right. mm -hmm. Good thought. All right. Number one, Hallmark Christmas movies might look a bit different this year. Uh-oh. It's Andrew Walker, Tyler Hines, and Paul Campbell bringing the sexy in their Instagram photos taken on the set. They are considered the HOH, Hunks of Hallmark. Oh. In case you didn't know. Anyway, they are teaming up for a new movie called Three Wise Men and a Baby, oh. which has the Hallmark verse losing their minds. Yeah. So be prepared for that. About time they started doing more biblical yeah. stories. <laughs> yeah, that's a, instead of just right. sleeping in a lodge. Yeah, you're right about that, Larry. <laughs>